Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yulia. I'm a wardrobe stylist, a content creator and an owner of online fashion boutique. And today guys, I have a super exciting video for you. Today, I'm gonna be showing you my design rack collection. We have 25 bags, you guys, so get ready for this. I also gonna mention some contemporary designers as Tori Burch, Kurt Geiger and Coach. And then I'm gonna move to high-end designers as Gucci, Jackie Moose and all that jazz. So you guys, if you're excited, please make sure to give thumbs up to this video before we jump into the bags collection. And also don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my Instagram and on my TikTok for more fashion and lifestyle content. And without further ado, let's jump into it. I'm gonna start with Tory Burch. Tory Burch is definitely one of my favorite contemporary brands. And I own three bags from Tory Burch. And I'm gonna start with my newest addition. This is the Kira Small Crossbody Bag. For many of the bags that I'm gonna show you, I have an unboxing and review video. I have a playlist on my channel. I'm gonna link it in the description box. And also I'm gonna link all the bags in the description box as well. I will tell you that I'm pretty good at finding deals for design bags. So yeah, definitely check the description box. And also just to mention that part of my collection are new bags and part of my collection are pre-loved. And we're also gonna talk about that. But going back to my Tory Burch bags, I got this bag like a week or week and a half ago and I filmed an unboxing video. I got it on Black Friday for an amazing deal. I got it with more than 50% off and I really like this bag. This is for me the perfect everyday black bag. You can wear it crossbody, but you can also wear it as a shoulder bag and I really like it. It's really classy. It's really versatile. You can wear it during daytime and nighttime. It really depends. So yeah, really like this bag and I'm sure that I'm gonna be using it a lot. The next bag is this bag. I don't remember the name of all of my bags, so I'm gonna put it on the screen. This Tory Burch bag is made in denim and I love it because of that, because it's so different. It has blue leather strap and also leather on the bottom. It has the short handle and it also has a crossbody strap. I wear it in both ways. I wear it like this and I also use my crossbody strap. It has two compartments and this bag also can be worn with more casual outfits for sure, but I also worn this bag with like really nice dresses and heels and it just add that edgy touch to your outfit. Love this. And I also have a Tory Burch Miller bag. This was my first Tory Burch bag. I got it in spring. I also got it on sale and I'm wearing this bag a lot. This is one of my most used bags lately because of the color combination and the size. It's uh, perfect for every day. The color combo can go well with the majority of your outfits. It has this gold chain detail. You have a couple of compartments. It's pretty roomy. You can put a lot in it. And yeah, this is the perfect bag. They have it in a million of different colors. And I also really like the strap. Moving on to Kurt Geiger. I have two bags from them. And the first one is gonna be this one. I think this is the Kingston something something bag. And uh, it's, it's definitely inspired by the YSL Lulu bags and also the Tory Burch Kira bags. The ones that have a really similar size and style is this cushiony bag. It's not super structured, but it still have some structure. And um, that's why I went for this one and not the Tory Burch one, because that one is not a really structured bag. Of course, the logo, really signature and the chain. I love the hardware in this bag. You can wear it like this, and this is the way that I wear this bag, but you can also wear it as a crossbody bag. Once again, this is a medium sized bag. So this is a perfect bag for your everyday. It has plenty of room to put all of your stuff in. I have this one for, I would say six months. And and I have to say that even if it's really smooth, soft leather, it's in perfect, perfect condition. I only have a couple of scratches on a side, but other than that, it's perfect. So I'm really happy with the quality of this bag. And the second one is this guy right here. And I love this bag. This is one of my favorite bags in my collection right now. I don't know why. I think it's the holiday season and all that kind of stuff but I love this bag. And this one for me, it's not only nighttime bag. And on my Instagram, I showed you how you incorporate something like this in your everyday style. So check it out. It has um, like the silver gun hardware. It's covered in crystals. It's definitely a really trendy bag right now. These kind of bags are really trendy this year. It has one compartment. In small bags, I definitely prefer to have just one compartment because it's much easier. And then you have the chain strap. You can wear it once again as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody. I really like that the majority of Kurt Geiger bags give you this option. I got both of them at Nordstrom Racks, so yeah, 
If you are looking to get Kurt Geiger back, definitely check Nordstrom Rack because they have a pretty good selection with really good discounts. Moving on to Coach, and I have to say that I sold the majority of my Coach bags. I don't know what it is, but I just don't use them. I just kept two and I'm gonna be selling one of them. I'm gonna start with the Coach Tabby bag. This is not the pillow Tabby bag. This is the previous version, but this one is still really trendy and popular. And uh, this is the bag that I'm gonna be selling on my Poshmark. Uh, I'm gonna link my Poshmark also in the description box in case you're interested. I'm gonna list it today. I would think that this is the perfect, like really easy weekends bag, neutral shades, but I just don't use it. It has this uh, short strap and it also has a longer strap that it's detachable. You have three compartments that I don't really like, to be honest. I think it's small bag, it's just easier to make one compartment and that's it. But yeah. I don't know. It's a pretty bag. It's a really popular one, but I don't use it and I will be selling this one. And then I have this one. This is the same shape. I don't remember the name of this bag. Same shape, same quality, but this bag I use a lot. I don't know if it's because of the color. This is my work bag, I have to say. I'm doing pop-up markets on the weekends with my um, fashion boutique and I'm always taking this bag with me. It's a little bit dirty but you guys this bag has been through a lot and the condition of it it's perfect. I'm really impressed with the quality. There is nothing wrong with the quality of coach bags but I'm telling you I just don't use them and I sold the majority of them. But this one, it's a keeper. I love this bag. This one only has two compartments, which makes a little bit more of sense. It has one big compartment and then just one front small pocket. So that for me makes a difference and probably that's the reason why I use this bag a little bit more. It also comes with a short strap and the um, crossbody a detachable strap. This one I got at Coach Outlet and I'm sure that they have some models right now on the Coach Out Outlet uh, website. So I'm gonna link it down below. Okay, so now I'm gonna move to my more luxury designer bags. So however you wanna call it. And I'm gonna start with the brands that I have only one bag and we're gonna finish with the brand that I have purchased the most bags from. My Jimmy Choo Voran, Vorain Suede Clutch. I got this one three years ago. I think it was 2019 and I love this bag. This is my going out bag. This is definitely just a nighttime bag for me. I love the shade of gold in this bag. It's just beautiful. I definitely need to clean it. I use this bag a lot. And every time I'm going out, I'm just using this bag. One compartment and then you have a chain strap and you can wear it as a crossbody or you can wear it as a clutch. The next one is my Loewe basket bag. I love this bag so much. It's definitely a summer bag. This was a present from my mm, parents for my 30th birthday. So I have it for a year and a half. And I love this bag. This is the perfect summer bag. I think it is pricey, but I think it's worth it. It has a beautiful quality and uh, comparing this one to the other designer basket bags, it's not even that pricey. I got it when I was in Spain. Um, for those who are new here, my parents live in Spain, so I'm going to Spain quite often. And I got it there. I think it was a little bit cheaper. This is the bag that I'm traveling with when I'm going on vacation. It's just perfect. The next one is my YSL envelope bag in this off-white color in grained leather. It's a little bit dirty, so I need to clean it with gold hardware. This is a classic, I mean, nighttime bag once again. I love YSL, but what I don't like, it has lots of compartments that don't make any sense to have in such a small bag, but still I love this bag. I have a review and unboxing for this bag as well on my channel. It has an adjustable crossbody strap. It's a classic in my collection. I had another YSL bag, but I ended up selling it because it was smooth leather and I was starting to see fading on the corner. So I'm like, I'm gonna be really self-conscious when using this bag, so I prefer to sell it. But yeah, this is a really loved bag in my collection. Chloe, this is the Chloe C bag. I got this one a year ago. No, a little bit over a year ago, a year and a half ago. I like this bag, I still use it, and I really like it because of the color combination. 
I got it at a website called vidcag.com. They have great deals. It's a European website. I don't remember what they are from, but they have great deals. So definitely check them out. It's uh, quite unique in my collection, especially because of the colors. It's pretty small, but it's a fun bag for me. So you have the short handle and then you have a crossbody strap. It's adjustable. And yeah, this is like a fun bag to add to your really neutral outfits to spice it up a little bit more, but still keep it quite wearable and neutral. Fendi, this is one of the most recent purchases. This is pre-loved. This one I got at fashionfile.com. Fashionfile.com is one of my favorite places to shop pre-loved bags. And uh, I wanted a medium size, like on a bigger side everyday bag where I can put my laptop, where I can put my camera and all my stuff. And this is the perfect one. Like this is the perfect bag. I traveled with this bag. It is a big bag, but it's not like huge. I wanted something on a bigger side, but not like overwhelming. And I really like it that it doesn't scream Fendi. If you are not paying any attention for you, it's gonna be just a regular black bag, but I use this bag a lot you guys i don't remember the name of this bag i think it's a discontinued style but because it's such a classic style i don't really care i don't go for the latest trends in bags it came in a pristine condition i really like it and then i also got a fendi scarf this one i got at the real real and it looks super fun i just wanted to add a little bit something you know again to make it a little bit more fun and uh, i really like the scarf and i remember i got this bag for 550 dollars this one has three compartments and in this case it does make sense with bigger bags i do prefer have some compartments i have some stuff in it just to make sure that it's gonna keep it its shape and my favorite and dearest bag in my collection my lady dior bag this is also pre-loved i also got it at fashionfile.com and this is such a special bag for someone who likes fashion this is just an iconic piece to have in your collection i wanted a lady dior bag for so long and uh, i ended up getting this one it has silver hardware it has some flaws i'm not gonna lie it's not in the perfect condition but to be quite honest i'm not seeing myself paying five or six grand for this bag right now so i paid for it i believe 1400 which is an amazing deal for this kind of bag and for this condition so i'm more than happy with the little details and some discoloration that this bag comes with the only thing that i'm really not liking about this bag is that i don't find really comfortable the opening it has one compartment it also comes with a crossbody strap so you can wear it in a little bit more casual way but i do prefer to wear it like this to be quite honest but the opening in this bag it's a little bit hard to get in so whatever you put in this bag it's like a little bit lost in there but i still adore this bag it's definitely one of the highlights in my collection. Moving on to Jacques Mousse, and this is definitely one of the trendiest designers. I don't know if it's still that trendy, but a couple of years ago, it was all about Jacques Mousse. And I think Jacques Mousse is one of the biggest reasons why small bags were so trendy, but to be quite honest, that trend is going away. And I have a lot of small bags that I'm like, ah, but I still have this bag. So, the first one is the Jacquemus Le Chiquito Moyen bag in this yellow mustard color. I really like this bag. I used it a lot, especially during summer. Spring and summer is when I use these bags the most. It's really small, but for me, the key is if I can fit my phone in it, if I can put my card holder and my car keys, it's good to go. I really don't need more if I'm going out or like I'm having dinner or have a lunch, something like that. Obviously, it's not your work bag or anything like that. This is your going out daytime or nighttime bag. So it has this uh, short handle and this is the way that I'm normally carrying this bag. It also comes with a shoulder strap. I wore this bag with this strap quite sometimes, but I'm not a huge fan. I find it a little bit more uncomfortable, especially when opening the bag. And I don't think it looks that nice, but you have that option. It has one compartment, thank God. <laughs> I still love this bag, so 
it's gonna stay in my collection for now. And the other one is the Le Chiquito Long Back in this minty green color. This one has a different texture, it's like a softer type of leather. And I think this one is a little bit more delicate. And surprisingly, I thought that I will be able to fit a little bit more in this bag than in the Le Chiquito Moyen bag. But I mean, I can fit the same phone card holder and keys without any problem but in this one i can put my lipstick i even can fit my sunglasses in it and not in this one this one is three things card holder keys phone that's it you're done i really like it because of the color i used this one not that long ago and i really do like this bag so once again for now, I'm keeping this one. Moving on to Prada. And uh, my two Prada bags are pre-loved. This one is from The Real Real. The other one is from Fashion File. I had another mini bag that I ended up selling. I'm gonna talk about this one. This is a vintage design, obviously. Uh, and I do like this bag very much. It's a canvas bag with leather details. And it's definitely your daytime bag. I have some bags inside, but I really want my bag to keep its shape. This is a vintage back and I don't know I got it for 300 or 350 dollars at the real wheel and I used it a lot you can put your entire life in it I use this bag right now but I definitely use this this one more during spring and summer it's definitely a little bit more on a casual side so it's just really really easy bag for those days where you're wearing something really casual and you just grab this bag and you're ready to go and the next one is this one and I have to say that this is one of my favorite bags in my entire collection I just really love classic shapes and classic designs. This is not the Galleria, but it's something really similar. It has a Safiano finish that, in my opinion, is one of the most durable. I like smooth leather, I like the look of smooth leather, but it's a little bit more unpractical. So I really like something with a, with a little bit more of texture, so it's gonna wear better. I got this one as fashion file and it was in perfect condition and it's still in perfect condition. I have it for a year and a half and I just love this pack. It has this beautiful pink blush color. It has three compartments, gold hardware. It also has a shoulder strap, but I don't really use the shoulder strap in this bag. I mean, no way. This is the perfect busy day type of bag. It really elevates an outfit because it has such a classic look and this is something that i would definitely recommend to invest and uh, to get your hands on and in something classic that will not go out of style i don't know if prada is selling this exact model but they have plenty of really similar models right now in their current collections this one it looks really current and it looks like you just bought it from prada moving on to the most controversial brand nowadays balenciaga i have the balenciaga hourglass bag and this is one of my favorite black bags i mentioned that in so many of my videos i think it has such a cool design it's a small bag but you can fit a lot in it because it's wider on the sides it has a beautiful quality you can wear it like this, you can wear it with the crossbody strap. I'm not gonna talk too much about this bag. So, okay, you guys, obviously, what happened with Balenciaga, I, I'm i disgusted by it. Any normal person will be. But the thing is, I got this bag with a great deal. I paid for it $1,500 or $1,600, which for this bag, it's great. I bought it, I bought it in June 2021. And I already got some comments about like, oh, you should not use this brand, blah, blah, blah. I cannot burn a $1,600 bag. And of course, I'm not supporting what they're doing right now, but I, I bought this bag a few years ago and I love it. And I'm really turned like, should I not use this bag? I spent my money on this. You know, it was a hard work money. So I really want to enjoy my bag. And from a design perspective, I love this bag. It's so versatile. What do you think? Let me know in the comments because I'm really curious about your opinion on this topic. And then I have another Balenciaga bag and this one is actually I'm trying to sell. This is the classic Balenciaga city bag. I got this one pre-loved from Fashion File. It's still really trendy. They're still selling this bag but in a, a different version. They did like a little bit more structured version. But the thing is it's really not my style. 
it's a little bit more on a casual side of things a little bit more trendy edgy and i do prefer a little bit more classic vibe and the other thing this leather it's so delicate and once again i'm so self-conscious when using this bag the handles i mean just from using it not that many times you can see already the wear I bought this bag pre-loved and it was in pretty good condition for I paid for it like 400 or something it has like a good everyday size but I don't use it so we only have two brands left the next one is Gucci this is my Gucci mini Dionysus bag this was my gift my Christmas gift three years ago I think so from my husband and because of that reason I will never get rid of this bag it's a classic at this point it's my smallest bag seriously this is the smallest bag in my collection but I still can fit my iPhone, I still can fit my card holder and the keys, it's a little bit of struggle but I can do it. So this is this mini tiny bag in this beautiful monogram print and it comes with a pretty long shoulder crossbody strap. It's not adjustable but you can make it shorter doing this trick. So go this way and from this side go in the other way so it looks like this on the inside and then you'll get a little bit shorter strap and my second Gucci bag is the Jackie Ohobo bag this one is pre-loved this one I got at Fashion File last year this was redesigned and relaunched last year and it was such a hit I don't hear about this bag that much anymore but last year it was everything about this bag and the previous design was so similar to the new one that I was like I'm just gonna buy pull loft and that's it the only thing that they really changed is the closure in the new version is gold and rounded it's such a cute again iconic bag I do use this one quite often especially fall and winter it has one compartment and I'm really happy that I have this bag in my collection and the brand that we're gonna finish with is Givenchy 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 you know what I'm talking about and I have four bags from them I didn't even realize that I have four bags from Givenchy I'm gonna start with my Givenchy cross 3 bag mm, this cute small black bag I got this one three years ago right now you can get it on sale this bag is really simple the main detail is this chain that you can actually wear it like this in this case I wore this bag like this so you can wear it like this you can wear it as a clutch and it also comes with a crossbody strap I use this bag a lot so this was my favorite bag for a really long time and then I got the Balenciaga Hourglass bag and I'm not using this bag that much anymore but I still really like it and love it so yeah this is a keeper as I'm telling you I really like simple and classic designs when it comes to my bags but the next one it's an exception <laughs> to the rule the next one is my Givenchy Adam bag and this is my most colorful bag in my collection I got this one I think two years ago or a little bit more than that it has this beautiful red coral color I have a dedicated video for this bag it's a fun one so you have this short handle and then you have once again oh my gosh and then you have once again the crossbody strap it has one compartment it has a magnetic closure which is super strong and it's a really cute one it has this pocket and I believe that in a couple of years it's gonna be one of my rarest bags in my collection because I don't think it's a really popular model anymore but I still really like it and I think Givenchy is such a solid brand that anything from Givenchy is gonna be trendy and in style the next one is this huge shopper bag this one is pre-loved this one I got at the real real I really wanted the Saint Laurent Rive Gauche bag but that one was a little bit out of my budget so I went with something a little bit different and I found this one at the real real for less than $300 you guys and I have to say that I'm not using this bag that much but I strictly wanted this bag for traveling so when I'm traveling I can put my entire life in it and take it with me with my carry-on it comes with the small pouch inside I took this bag with me to New York and I was taking some pictures 
when we were around and I was changing outfits during the day, right? So I took this bag and I put all of my outfits in. The purpose of this bag, it's not like everyday use. The purpose of this bag is when you really need a little bit of extra space. And for that, I think it's great. And for that reason, I'm gonna keep this bag. And the last bag in my collection and the last bag of this video is my Givenchy Antigona bag. This is an iconic classic one as well. I bought it new at satiro.com, I believe. It's an Italian website. It was the greatest deal that I could get on this bag. I paid $1,200, I think. This is the medium size. They have it in nano, small, medium, and large. And this is the perfect size. It comes in this taupe color, silver hardware grained leather. I adore this bag. This is definitely another of my favorite bags in my collection. I use this bag a lot on a daily basis. I know that many people are complaining about the opening of this bag, but to be quite honest, comparing this opening with my Lady Dior bag, this is like heaven. Seriously, this is so much easier to get in that in My Lady Dior, but still love My Lady Dior. It comes with a strap and when I'm traveling with this bag, I do use the strap, but normally I'm just carrying this bag like this. This is love, seriously. Oh my gosh, I talked for how long? This is gonna be a long one. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give a super big thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you prefer to buy brand new bags or if you're more pre-loved kind of girl bag. Let me know if you own any of these bags, which one was your favorite one and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna link all the bags with the exception of this one. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find this one, but the rest of them will be linked in the description box and I will try to find the best deals for you guys. And yeah, you guys, the next video I think will go live on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. It's gonna be another fashion style related video. And I definitely hope to see you there. Bye-bye.